I'm Arne Malzahn. I'm a researcher at Sint of Ocean. And I am a fisheries biologist uh, by education. And here, in the meantime, I'm working more on circular economy approaches involving biology, where we are not only working with animals floating around in the ocean, but we also work with animals which are living on the seafloor. Uh, and um, a very Im interesting species are these polychaete worms. So these are little worms just like the earthworms, which you know from your garden, but they are living in the ocean, obviously. And these ones are particularly interesting because they eat dead decomposing material. So just like um, their conspecifics uh, living in your garden, um, they take care of dead materials and they decompose it. And we want to use that feature of them in order to let them process waste products from the uh, fish farming industry. As fish farming uh, is increasing on land, so in tanks, in large plants, um, there's the necessity to clean the water after it has been used, which opens the opportunity for us that we can take the sludge, so that is uneaten fish feed and their excretion products, and we can use them because they contain a lot of nutrients, they contain a lot of fatty acids, so valuable things, um, which we want to feed to these worms in order to use the worms later on as, for example, functional food in shrimp diets for shrimp farming or as a replacer for fish meal or fish oil uh, to produce new fish feeds to have a circular economy. Esta es una nueva vari eh, variación de la industria acuícola que de alguna forma lo que están haciendo es trayendo los desechos que están en el mar hacia este tipo de laboratorios y, y lugares especializados para proveer de alimento a este microorganismo y están también investigando cuál sería el mayor potencial que tiene este pequeño ser vivo. The idea of our activities is not only to go out and dig for worms in spring and feed them on salmon sludge throughout the summer and process them to proteins or oils later on, but the idea is to develop an industry. Um, and for that, we have to close the life cycle. We have to be able to reproduce these worms, and we learned that um, in the meantime. So this one here, this little worm, is one of the first worms of these species which have been bred in captivity. So this one is actually born here. This is sort of the uh, first proof of concept that we are able to artificially reproduce them, uh, which is a major step in developing a worm aquaculture. Lo que yo interpreto es que esto podría ser un, un alimento eh, muy nutritivo para la industria del salmón, pero en comparación con el habitual pellet que entregan a, a los salmones, ¿hay una diferencia importante de precio? ¿Podría ser competitivo? At the time, not. This is probably the most expensive worm on the world which you are handling in your, hold, holding in your hand because we, we, we spend so much effort in it. Um, but as this is in developing, we expect scaling effects. So if you produce more, the production of them gets cheaper. And I would also say if you factor in other factors, like how expensive is the resource in the sea, really? Is that for free? Can we go there and fish? Can we do that sustainably? We can, of course, harvest a good proportion of any fish stock. But at a certain point, we are overdoing it. And well, we, we've been through several cycles of uh, overutilizing um, the resources in the sea. So the question is really how cheap or do we, do we actually pay the correct price for the product which we are extracting from the sea? And then it might be that these products are actually, if we produce them in a, in a, in a sustainable, uh, um, responsible manner, that this might actually be cheaper. Or even if it might be a bit more expensive, it might anyway be a better idea to follow such approaches in order to be sustainable. Aparentemente parece una cosa insignificante, un microorganismo que ha sido desarrollado en este laboratorio, pero sin embargo, el desarrollo científico y toda la inversión que está haciendo para la industria y para el desarrollo humano es tremendamente importante y quizás el costo que tiene esto va a significar en el futuro una tremenda oportunidad. Yo le quiero agradecer a Arne el tiempo que ha tenido de compartir en este laboratorio tan especializado 
y que es tan importante para la industria también que vamos a desarrollar en Chile.